Hi guys, welcome back. Domain 6 Cryptographic and PKI Chapter 6.2 Cryptographic Algorithm So, cryptographic Cryptographic systems are composed of two main elements an algorithm and a key. The key exists to provide a means to alter the encryptions from message to message. While the algorithm provides the method of converting plain text to cipher text and back. In this video we are going to see four main algorithms symmetric, asymmetric, hashing and key stretching. Okay. Symmetric algorithm. Symmetric algorithms are categorized by using the same key for both encryption and decryptions. Sym symmetric encryption algorithms are used for bulk encryption because they are comparatively fast and have few computational requirements. Common symmetric algorithms are DES, 3DES, AES, Blowfish, Toefish, RC2, RC4, RC5 and RC6. So but we will see uh, all the types, all the techniques they use. First we will see D, uh, DEC, Data Encryption Standard. It was developed in response to National Bureau of Standard, now known as National Institute of Standard and Technology NIST, issuing a request for proposal for standard cryptographic algorithm in 1973. NBS specified that DES had to be rectified every five years, while DES passed, DES passed without a hitching in 1983. Na the, the National Security Agency said it wouldn't, it wouldn't rectify rectify it 1987 however since no alternative was available for many businesses many compliance ensued and the nsa and nbs were forced to recent uh, rectify des the algorithm was rectified in 1993 nist has now certified the advanced encryption standard to replace des 3 des triple des okay it is a follow up a follow on implementation of des depending on specific variant it uses either two or three key instead of single key that des uses it also spins through the des algorithm three times through what called multi encryptions multi encryption can be performed in several different ways the simplest method of multi encryption is just to stack algorithms on top of each other taking plain text Encrypt, encrypting it with DES, then encrypting the first ciphertext with the different keys, and then encrypting and second uh, ciphertext with the third key. In reality, this technique is less effective than the technique that 3DES uses, which is to encrypt with one key and then decrypt with the second key and then encrypt with the third. So this greatly increases the number of attempts need to retry the key and the significant enhancement for. Uh, enhancement of uh, security. The additional security comes with the price. However, it can take up take up to three times longer to compare three DES than to compare three uh, DES. However, the advance in memory and processing power in today's electronics make this problem irre irre sorry irrelevant in all devices except for very small low power devices. The only weakness of three DES are those that already exist in DES, however, because different keys are used with the same algorithm in 3 DES. The effective key length is longer than the DES key spaces, which result in great resistance to brute force attack, making 3 DES stronger than 3 DES to wide range of attacks. While 3 DES has continued to be popular and is still widely supported, AES has taken over a symmetric encryption standard. Third, Advanced Encryption Standard AES. Because of the advance of technology and the process being made quickly retrieving DES keys, NIST put out a request for proposal for a new advanced encrypts, uh, encryption standard AES. AES NIST called for block cipher using symmetric key, uh, cryptographic and support key size of 128, 192 and 256 bits. So after evaluations, NIST had five finalists, Mars, IBM, RC6, RSA, uh, 
Rigintel, John Damon and Vincent Regimen. And then Serpent, Rose Anderson, Ellie uh, Beham and Loss Nodison. Toefish, Bruce uh, Sinner, John Kelsey, Dong Waiting, Whiting, David Wagner, Cry, uh, Chris Hall and Nails Ferguson. So you can google it. Uh, maybe I mispronounced the name. So you, you, you guys can google it to the name. Uh, Mars RC6, uh, Ridge, uh, Ridge, uh, Regional Serpent and Toefish. So in the fall of 2000, NIS picked uh, Rinsdell to be the new AES. It was chosen. It was chosen for its overall security as well as its good performance on limited capacity devices. AES has three different standard key size: 128, 192, and 256. Designed AES 128, AES 192, and AES 256 respectively. Okay, and then reversed cipher. RC4, RC1, RC2, RC3, RC4, RC5, and RC6. So first we will see RC4. So RC is a general term for several cipher, all designed by Ron Rivest. RC officials stand for uh, reverse ciphers. So as you can see, RC1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or uh, it, 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 it all are uh, ciphers in the series. RC4 was created before RC5 and RC6, but it differs in operation. RC4 is a stream cipher, whereas all symmetric ciphers we have looked at so far have been a uh, have block mode cipher. The stream cipher works by enciphering the plain text in stream, usually bit by bit. This, this makes stream cipher faster than block mode ciphers. Stream ciphers accomplish this by performing a bitwise XOR. With the plain text stream and a generated by stream, RC4 can use a key length of 8 to 2448 bits. Even though the most common version is uh, use 128 bit keys, the algorithm is fast, sometimes 10 times faster than DES. The most vulner vulnerable point of the encryption is possibility of weak weak keys. One key is 256 can generate bytes closely correlated with the key bytes. Proper implementation of RC4 needs to include weak key detection. Blowfish Toefish Blowfish was designed in 1994 by Bruce Sinner. It, 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 is, a, it is a block block mode cipher using 64-bit blocks and a variable, variable key length from 32 to 448 bits. It was designed to run quickly on 32-bit 32, uh, 32 microprocessors and is optimized for situations with a few key changes. The only successful crypto analysis to data uh, to, to date against Blowfish has been against variant that in used reduced rounds. That doesn't seem to be a weakness in the full 16 round versions. Blowfish Toefish was one of the five finalists in the AES competition. Like other AES entrant, it is a block cipher utilizing 128-bit block with a variable length key of up to 256 bits. This algorithm is available for public use and has proven to be secure. Toefish is an improvement over Blowfish in that it is less vulnerable to certain classes of weak keys. Cipher mode. In symmetric or block algorithm, there is need to deal with the multiple blocks of identical data to prevent multiple blocks of ciphertext that would identify the block of ident identical input data. There are multiple methods of dealing with this called mode of operations. These sections uh, normally we will see the disc, uh, disc, we will see that common modes listed uh, ECB, CBC, CTM, GCM. Okay, so first we will see CBC. Cyber blockchain is a block mode. CBC is a block mode where each block is exhort with the previous cyber text, uh, cyber text block before being encrypted. 
to obfuscate the first block and initialize vector is XSORT with the first block before encryption. CBC is one of the most common mode used, but it has two major weaknesses. First, because there is a dependence on previous blocks, the algorithm cannot be parallelized for speed and efficiency. Second, because of the nature of the chaining, a plain test block can be recovered from two adjacent blocks of ciphertext. An example of this is in the portal padding oracle on downgraded legacy encryption is in short poodle okay it's a poodle attack an example of this is a poodle attack this types of padding attack works because because one bit change to the cipher text causes complete corruption of the corresponding block of plain text and inverse the corresponding bit in the following block of plain text but rest of the blocks remain intact ACM Galois counter mode is an extension of TCTM with the additions of Galois mode of authentication. Galois fields are a mathematical representation that has significant utility in practical encoding. The addition, the addition of a Galois mode adds an authentication function to the cipher mode. Because the Galois field, Galois field used in the process can be parallelized. GCM provides an efficient method of adding the capability. GCM is employed in many international standards including IEEE 80281 AD and 802.1AE. NIST recognized AES GCM as well as GCM and G GMAC. ECB Electronics Codebook is the simplest mode operation for of all. The message to be decrypted is divided into blocks and each block is encrypted separately. This has several several major issues, most notable of which is the identical blocks yield identical encryption blocks. Telling the attacker that the blocks are identical, ECB is not recommended for using cryptographic protocol. CTM CTR Counter mode uses a counter functions to generate a nonce that is used for each block encryption. The sequence of operations is, the, is to take the counter functions value, encrypt using the key, then XOR with the plain text. Each block can be done independently, resulting in the ability to multi-thread the processing. CTM is also abbreviated CTO in some circles. Stream versus block. When encryption operations are performed on data, there are two primary modes of operations, block and stream. Block operations are performed on block of data, enabling both transposition and substitution operations. This, this is possible when large pieces of data are presented for the operations. Stream operations have become more common with the streaming of audio video across the web. The primary characteristic of stream data is that it is not available in large chunks, but rather either bit by bit or byte by byte piece to pieces too small for block operations. Stream cipher operate using substitution only, therefore offer less robust protections than blocker cipher. Blocker ciphers, sorry, block ciphers. Okay, let's move on. Next slide. Asymmetric algorithm. We will see that one by one RSA. So first asymmetric algorithm. Asymmetric algorithm uh, uh, asymmetric cryptographic in, is in a many way completely different from symmetric cryptographic. Also known as public key cryptographic asymmetric algorithms are built around hard to reverse matching uh, math pro math problems. The strength of these functions is very important because an attacker is likely to have access to the public key. He can Use test test of known plain text and procedure uh, cipher text. This allow instant checking of guessing the that are made about the key of the algorithm. RSA, DSA, Diffie-Hellman, elliptic curve cryptographic, and the PGP, GPG are all popular asymmetric protocol. So we will see one by one. First RSA, one of the first public key crypto systems even invented, can be used for both encryption and 
digital signatures. RSA is named after this after its inventor, Ron Rivest, Adi uh, Shamir, and Leonard Adelman. So and was first published in 1977. So this algorithm used the product of two very large prime number and works on the principle of difficulty in factoring such large numbers. It is best to choose large prime number from 100 to 200 digit in length that are equal in length. This is simple method, but it is security has withstood, withstood the test of more than three, uh, 30 years of analysis considering the effectiveness of RSA security and ability to have two keys. Why are symmetric encryption algorithm needed at all? The answer is speed. RSA in software can be 100 times slower than DEC, so DES, and in hardware, and it can be even slower. As mentioned, RSA can be used for both regular encryptions and digit digital signatures. Digital signatures try to duplicate the functionality of physical signature on document using encryptions. Typical RSA, typically. Typically, RSA the, and the other public key systems are used in conjunctions with the symmetric key cryptographic. Public key, the slower protocol is used to exchange the symmetric key, example, shared secret, and then communicate uses the faster symmetric key protocol. This process is known as electronic key exchange. DSA, digital signature is a cryptographic implementation designed to demonstrate authenticity and identity associated with the message. Using public key cryptographic, the digital signature algorithm DSA allows traceability to person signing the message through the use of the private key. The addition of hash codes allow for the assurance of integrity of the message as well. The operation of digital signature is combination of cryptographic elements to achieve a desired outcome. The steps involved in dig digital signature generate use the common implementations of DSA is derivations of the EIGAMAL EGMOL signature a signature method and is detailed in Federal Information Processing Standard 186 series. It is covered by a patent that the it is covered by a patent that the US government has released royalty free all worldwide. The most important element is signature is the par is the pair message random signature value k, which needs to change with the every sign message and must be kept secret. Reusing this value can lead to the discovery of private key, as demonstrated by an attack on Sony's improper implementation of a DSA when sign software for PS3. Defi Hellman. Defi Hellman introduced. Uh, we have discussed this about in previous uh, previous video. It's one of the most common encryption protocol is uh, used today. It plays a role in the electronic key exchange method of a SSL and TLS protocol. It it is also used by SSH and IP IPsec protocol. Defi Hellman is important because it is enable the sharing of a secret key between two people who have not contacted each other uh, before. Defi Hellman groups determine the strength to key used in the key exchange processor. High groups numbers are more secure but require additional time to compute the key. TH group 1 consists of a 7, 6, 8 bits key. Group 2 consists of 1024 uh, bit key and group 5 comes with 1536 bit key. Higher number groups are also supported with the correspondingly larger keys. Defi Hellman ephemer, Ephemeral DHE. This there are several variants of Defi Hellman key exchange. DHE is a variant which is uh, where a temporary key is used in the key exchange rather than reusing the same key over and over. And the ellip elliptic curve Defi Hellman. It's a variant of Defi Hellman protocol that uses elliptic curve cryptography. ECDH can also be used with the ephemeral keys become, becoming elliptic curve Defi Hellman's to enable perfect forward secrecy. secrecy. Elliptic curve ECC. Elliptic curve 
cryptographic was covered in details uh, in the previous video. So, what what is important? To, what is important to note from a use perspective? Use use perspective is the ECC is well suited for platform with limited computing power such as mobile device. The security of a elliptic curve system has has been questioned mostly because of a lack of analysis. However, all public key systems rely on the difficulty of certain math problems. It would take a breakthrough in math for any of mentioned systems to be weakened, weakened dramatically. But research has been done about the problem has shown the elliptic curve problem has, has been more resistant to increment, uh, incremental advances. Again, as with all cryptographic algorithm, only time will time will tell you time will tell how secure they real they really are. The big benefit of ECC system is that they require less computing power for given bit strength. This makes ECC ideal for use in low power mobile devices. Okay, pretty good privacy PGP. Pretty good privacy created by Philip uh, Zimmerman in 1991. Passed through the several versions that were available for free under a uh, non-commercial license. PGP is now a commercial enterprise encryption product offered by Symantec. It can be applied to popular email program to handle the majority of day-to-day -day encryption tasks using a combination of symmetric and asymmetric uh, encryption protocol. So one of the unique features of uh, of uh, PGP is is it use of both symmetric and asymmetric. Uh, encryption methods. Accessing the strength of each methods and avoiding the weaknesses of each as each as well. Symmetric keys are used for bulk encryptions so taking advantage of uh, of the speed and efficiency of symmetric encryption. The symmetric keys are passed using asymmetric methods capitalizing often uh, capitalizing on the flexibility of this method. Okay. So let's move on next slide. Hashing algorithm. Message digest. Hashing algorithms are cryptographic methods that commonly used to store computer password and to ensure message integrity. So MD MD there's a message digest, they have the versions MD5 is the generic versions of one of several algorithms that is designed to create a message digest or hash forms data input into the algorithm. MD algorithms works in the same manner as SS, SS, sorry SHA so we will see in next next uh, next topic okay so in the they, they use a secure this they use the secure method to compare the file and generate their computing out of a specified numbers of, of number of bits the MD algorithms were developed by Ronald all reversed of MIT the current version is MD5, while previous versions were MD2 and MD4, and MD5 was developed in 1991, and is structured after MD4, but with additional security to overcome the M uh, problem in MD4. In, in November 2007, researcher published the finding on ability to have two entirely different Windows 32 executable with different functionality, but the same MD5 hash. This discovery has up obvious impl implications for the development of malware. The combination of this problem with MD5 has pushed people to adapt a strong as such versions of uh, security reason. SH1 SH, uh, SHA secure algorithm SH1, SH2, SH3, SH these are the version, the series of uh, version. So SHA refers to a set of uh, set of hash algorithm designed and published by NIST and, uh, and NSA uh, National Security Agency. These algorithms are included in the SHA standards federal information process standard 180-2 and 180-3. Individually each standard is named SH1, SH, sorry, SHA1, SHA224, SHA256, SHA 384 and SHA 512. The later four variants are occasionally referred to as SH2 because of 
collision based weakness in SH SH1, SHA1 and SHA2 series. This conductor is search for new versions, the result of which known as SHA3. First we will see SHA1. SHA1 developed in 1993 was designed as the algorithm to be used for secure hashing in the US digital signature standard DSS. It is modeled on the MD4 algorithm and implement fixed in that algorithm discovered by NSA. It creates a message digest 168, 160, by 160 bits long that can be used by digital signature algorithm which can then compute the signature of the message. This is computational, computationally simpler as the message digest is typically much smaller than the actual message. Small, smaller message less work SHA1 works as do all hashing function by applying a com compression functions to the data input. So at one time SHA1 was one of the most secure hash functions but it has been found vulnerable to a collision attack. Thus most implementation of SHA1 have been replaced with one of the other. Most secure SHA versions the or the the added security and resistance to attack in SHA1 does require more, proce more processing power to compute the hash. SHA2 is a collective name for SHA224, SHA256, SHA384 and SHA512. SHA2 is similar to SHA1 in that it it will also accept into of less than 24 uh, 2 power 64 bits and reduce that input to a hash. The SHA2 series algorithm produces a hash length equal to the number after SHA. So SHA256 produces a digest of 256 bits. The SHA2 series becomes more common after SHA1 was shown to be potentially vulnerable to a collision attack. SHA3 SHA3 is the name for uh, name for the SHA2 replacement. In 2012, the uh, Keka hash functions on the NIST competitions and was chosen as the ba basis for the SHA3 method because the algorithm is completely different from the previous SHA series, it has proved to be more resistant to attack than that are su successfully against them. Because the SHA3 series is relatively new, it has not been widely adapted in many cipher suits it. And then HMAC, Hashed Message Authentication Code. HMAC is a special subset of hashing technology messaging authentication codes are used to determine if a message has changed during transmission using a hash, hash functions for message integrity is common practice for many communications when you add a secret key and crypto functions the mac becomes a hatchet ac and you also have the ability to determine authenticity in addition to integrity popular hash algorithm or md5 and sha series and the a RIP RIPEMD algorithm. RIP algorithm. So we will see the uh, next race integrity primitives evil evaluations message digest. Okay, so it is it is a hashing function developed by race integrity uh, uh, RIP RIPE con constrain. In originally provided a 138 bit hash and was later shown to have problem with collisions uh, RIPM was strengthened to a 160 bit hash known as RIMP uh, 160 by Hans uh, Dobertin Anton Bosler's uh, bot Prenel. You can google it if I mispronounce. So we move on the next slide. Key strengthening algorithm. So we have discussed this in previous video. Uh, if you guys missed this, go and watch that previous video. So, key strength algorithm, key stretching, streak, key stretching algorithm. Key stretching is a mechanism that takes what would otherwise be weak keys and stretching, stretching them to make the systems more secure against brute force attack. A typical method methodology used for key stretching involves increase the compute computational complexity by adding iterative rounds of computations 
To extend a password to a longer length of a key, you can run it through multiple rounds of variable length hashing, each increasing the output by bits over time. This may take hundreds or thousands of rounds, but for single use computations, computations, the time is not significant. Two common forms of key stretching employed in use today include uh, bcrypt and password based key derivations functions too. So bcrypt, bcrypt is a bcrypt is a key stretching mechanism that use, uses the Blowfish cipher and salting and adds an adaptive function to increase the number of interaction, interact, interactions. The result is the same as other key stretching mechanism, but when attempting to brute force the functions, the millions of attempts make it computational unfeasible. Password based key derivation functions too. It is, it is a key derivation function designed to produce a key derivative from, uh, from your password. These functions use the passwords or passphrase uh, and a salt and applies and HMAC to input those thousands of times. This repeat, this repetitions, repetition, this repetitions uh, makes brute force attacks computationally unfeasible. Obfuscation, obfuscation is purposefully hiding of the meaning of communications by its by itself. Obfuscation is weak. Because once the method algorithm used for hiding is discovered, the protection is gone. But it still has uses used in increase the complexity of solving the hidden message problem. XOR is a simple cipher operation and is performed by the additions of text and the key using model to ar uh, arithmetic a strong of a text can be encrypted by applying the bitwise XOR operator to every correct character using a given key. To decrypt the output, merely reapplying the XOR functions with the key will remove the cipher. Both of these operations are exceedingly fast on chips, making this is true line speed method. XOR is a common component inside many of these more complex cipher algorithms. The weakness of using XOR method is when the text length is significantly longer than the key, forcing reuse of the key across the length of the cipher if the key is longer as the text being encrypted. 13. Root 13 is a special uh, case for a uh, case of a Caesar substitute cipher where each character is replaced by a character 13 places later in the alphabet. Because of the basic Latin alphabet has 26 letters, root 13, root 13 has the property of undoing itself when applied twice. So you can also google it the root 13 there is a lot of uh, website uh, how to convert, how does it work everything. So substitutional cipher, substitutional ciphers uh, it's a substitution substitutions character on a character by character basis via spe, through specify uh, specific scheme. The order of the characters in the each block is maintained. A transposition cipher is one where the order of the character is changed by a given algorithm. A simple substitution cipher replaces each character with a corresponding substitution character. The length of the message, or although this although this has an entropy of eighty eight bits. Base, uh, because of structure in language, this is relatively easily broken using frequency analysis of the substitution. So, a more complex method is a poly, uh, poly alphabetic substitutions of which the Vinegar cipher, sorry, Wigner cipher, is an example where the substitutions alphabet changes with the each use of characters. This is increased the complexity and throughout basic frequency on analysis as it upscores repeats letters and frequency analysis in general across a message okay so that's it guys for this video please subscribe my my channel uh if if you haven't press the bell button to get more update share the video if you like i'll post more practice lab later on video see you guys bye bye have a good day